All right. All right, I reopened it. That one. There we go. Okay, so tonight we're doing a uh, Star Wars Rogue, and this is the tutorial on how to play Star Wars Rogue. Now it says 69%. I haven't completed the game yet, and I've only beaten the last boss like once. But this is a very challenging game, and it's it's a lot of fun. It's not my forte, though. It's not the game I'm uh, best at, but Here's, uh, here's the go around. You play with a mouse and a keyboard or a controller. I use the controller. It's a lot easier for me. Um, we're going to start a new file here. Um, I'll show you what it's all about. Come up this way a minute. You get through and this guy talks and he says some stuff. Look, it's time for introductions. My name is Rodney. You, on the other hand, the megalith, an exotic and sunny work environment. Your job is to get me out. I'm paying your other heads handsomely for this, so you'd better do a good job before you do Well, don't complain to me about it. It's only one head in your mech, and your heads grow back. To use a door, walk through the door. You're on the topmost floor of the Megalith right now. Uh, we're this getting through this. is lodged in the side of a star. Because <sighs> it doesn't really matter. That's how it comes down in the, the long run. We're just going to run through the tutorial. Anyway, for your purposes, can just think of this as a giant death trap set here to keep you from me. Luckily for both of us, unluckily for you, the warden is also down there. Giant rope. Your main weapon has infinite ammo. Blocked? Aha! Or are you? That was a test. You're totally not blocked. This type of barricade. Okay, now you have an energy weapon. Okay. So we're going to start a new run. As tutorial, I suggest you listen to what the guy has to say. He's quite funny. Uh, but for the purpose of this, we're not going through the tutorial. Because it just goes over the basics of the game. Which I'm going to hit rapid fire as soon as we get in. So you can see actual application. Um, and there's, there's mechs you can choose from when you start the game. We're going to be using the white gloss. It is the basic of all the mechs. And then Rodney is the guy you're supposed to be saving. He's a dude you were listening to in the tutorial, and he's the guy we're gonna we're gonna try and get get going here. Uh, so white gloss is it? He's the he's the main basic dude of the game. Everyone else has you know repulsive mind, magnetism. Uh, this guy's got the guardian blaster. He's got no additional special, but he does start off with two shields, which is phenomenal, phenomenal uh, for this game. But again, we're gonna start from white gloss. Uh, I always play on normal. Never go to any of the other modes. And then you can also put on dev mode and play with everything unlocked, which I wouldn't recommend. I'd recommend just unlocking it yourself just to see what you can find and what you can do because you're going to notice a huge difference between what we do on this file versus what I post because I'm going to be doing a full run to Rodney as each of the mechs to show their different um, the differences in the mechs themselves and how to play them, and how to go through them, and how to pick and choose your items, basically. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just, we're going to start run. That's all with keyboard. Now once you're in the game, uh, the controls are all laid out by Rodney in the beginning, but in case you don't know, uh, the start button on your controller uh, brings up the menu, and then you can hit settings, and then in settings, you can actually look at view and edit controls. And once you click that, it tells you exactly what all the controls do, and what happens, right? But I don't need to edit my controls in any way, shape, form, or fashion. So, cancel that. This is where it shows you the items that you currently have. Now the main mech starts off with these three items always. Never fails, each mech starts off with the exact same main items. <sighs> now we're gonna get out of this one, you can see um, what all these do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what they do in the game itself. Up here, you've got your health, and that blue bar is the shield. It regenerates every room. The experience, because you level up and you get perks. Perks are amazing. And health shards, when you collect eight of them, you get an additional HP. Not an additional shield, an additional HP point. And then the amount of keys you have, the money you have, what level, what level your mech is, and then what floor you're on. There are seven floors in the game totally. And then there is... Uh, only five to start. So you have to get through the fifth floor in order to unlock the seventh floor. 
um, which we might be able to do on this one, which is pretty freaking cool. Uh, here's your primary weapon. has unlimited shots. No matter what primary weapon you get, you have unlimited shots on it. And then you have your energy weapon, which this particular mech has 100 energy, and I have 5 shots with the energy weapon that I have. As you can see here, it takes 31 energy per second when I fire it. So how do I have 5 shots? Do I have... That's weird. That's not right. That's not right. That's fine. We'll make it work. And then here's your missiles and the amount of missiles you have. You can get different attachments as you go through, and then this is where your consumables go. You can only carry one at a time. I haven't found an item yet that allows you to carry more than one, either attachment or consumable. So now we have the basics down. Let's look at how movement works. My left trigger moves around. I'm holding down the run button. This is regular speed, and this is the run speed. Running is important for dodging, but most importantly in this game, you do a lot of backtracking. Because you've got to find keys, you've got to find doodads and doohickers, and most importantly, you'll see on this first run, uh, what I do after I level up. Um, so this is the first thing I find, it's a module, it goes in the attachment area, and what it does is it increases main gun bullet speed and range, adds extra shots. So that's my main gun, that's just what it fires, that's how it fires. You can see how fast it's firing. I'm gonna pick this up, and now I have additional shots coming out, and it fires a lot faster and goes a little bit further. I don't know if you can tell the further bit though. Hold on, let's see. Okay, see where it goes there? I can't actually drop it to show you otherwise. Hmm. All right. So now we're gonna get into a boss room. These are mini bosses. I don't have very many unlocked. This is a new file, so this is gonna be just a dude, okay? Now, every boss has its way to beat. And this guy is super difficult, uh, unless you know the pattern. And I didn't know the pattern for a very long time, and I could never perfect this guy. But now, I, uh, I luckily talked to somebody who played this game, and I know the pattern for him. So I perfected him, and what I got is a golden missile launcher. Now, as you can see, here on the screen, it shows you the specs for the launcher. So you've got attack, speed, x-factor, and range. From what I can gather, because there's no information on this, uh, x-factor is like critical hits. Uh, speed is the uh, frequency that the missiles can come out. Attack is the damage the missiles do, and the range is how far the missiles go. Now for missiles, the range is always full. I've, I've never seen one that goes under full. So this is actually a better one than I, that I have, so I'm gonna go ahead and equip it. So now you can see, this is now the Golden Missile Launcher, and if I hit Start, you have the Golden Missile Launcher here with the Railgun Module here, because it's equipped. Alright, so we're going to hit Start again. We're going to go into the next room. We're just going to gonna rail this. Accuracy is very important uh, in this game. That's a laser trap right there. If you step into it, you get hurt. Uh, there are many different kinds. As you can see, I just got hit, but it took a shield. It doesn't matter how much damage a specific thing does, because they do do different amounts of damage in regards to health. What matters is that your shield will take one entire hit away from you. When it's blue, it's safe to go through. All right. Now, that... Um, is there a way to enlarge the map? Yeah, there we go. That's in the middle. Okay, now each room is labeled, and if you take your mouse and just like scroll, scroll over it, you can even use your uh, D-pad to move it around. Uh, it tells you what's in each room, which is super handy when it comes to what you're doing. As you can see, I had to discover every room, and there's so parts of this one that aren't discovered, like this one here, that one there, and that one there. Now, even though two rooms are touching, does not mean that there's going to be a door between the two rooms. That becomes very important later on when the floors become far more complicated. Major item storage is like your item rooms at Isaac, like the little chest rooms. Um, and they will be locked later on. But as for the first couple of floors, they're all open. That was the mini boss, and this is the boss for the floor, uh, which you're gonna have to kill. So that's how the map works. And then we're gonna we're gonna swing back. And we're gonna swing back. This is tutorial. Okay, now this is a puzzle room. So what you have to do is you have to figure out the puzzle. For this one, you have to try and get the two coins 
and the missiles without getting hit by that or the spikes. So you don't want to run, you just want to go around. Uh, and take your time to make sure you're not getting hit by anything you shouldn't need to get hit by. Uh, you can see these arrows on the floor and the little dotted lines. That means you can't, you can only go that way on that space. So like I can't, I can't just go in here and skip the whole puzzle. I'd have to go in this way, blow that block up. Here, I'll actually show you. Uh, I'll actually show you. You just go around, make sure everything's taken out. And you can just keep firing as you're going around, get a sentence here. Now, this is the first floor puzzle, so it's not that difficult. Uh, this is defensive shop. All shops are locked, except for the small item shop. In the defensive shop, you find defensive things, things that will protect you uh, when you're running around. There's also a weapon shop, a robot shop, super important shop, that robot shop, and then a consumable shop, which is a fun shop, but not one that we'll need to, to pay too much mind to currently. So we're just going to try and get this to a place where we can make it work. Uh, once you learn the patterns for the enemies, they become relatively simple. As you can see, bullets can't even travel through those line things here. Like, I could fire like this all day long and it wouldn't make a difference. Um, I'd have to actually go around it to kill that guy. But I can run through it this way all day long. I can run up and down on it. But if you're running up on it, you can go the way you're supposed to go. If you try and go back, it won't let you. And that comes important for one of the puzzles in this game. But currently, it's not a big deal. All right, then we're going to go down. Okay, now these things, see how they're glowy? Those hold health shards or secret door openings. And you use your missile launcher to break them open. Now this is a sacrifice room. So you see here, we've got the Blood Avenger, which is a, an energy weapon. It costs 5 of 10 health, right? So we're going to go ahead and pick this over the other two items, but I'm going to show you the other two items as well. Because what's important here is, this also costs 5 health, it's a dead eye module. Now it takes the place of my attachment, and it becomes my new attachment, right? And the scrap collector, you gain 1 health after killing 5 enemies. That's just a buff you get for the rest of the time you're here. Like I said, we're going to take the Blood Avenger, and we're going to go up. And I'm going to show you what the Blood Avenger does as soon as I can. Okay, now you'll notice these things only fire when I fire. It's very important to keep that in mind. And we're going to just go ahead and take these dudes out. And then these dudes are the last ones. Like I said, you just learn what the enemies do, and you're pretty much covered. Oh, in here. Uh, you're pretty much covered once you have what enemies do down. Uh, it's difficult to do, but once you get there, you'll be just fine. That was a key. As you can see now, I have one key, four credits. Still on level one, but I'm only 60 experience away from getting to level two. And what I'm trying to do is get to level two before I get to the big boss of the floor, because you can get some really cool stuff. Oh, this guy, Shiza. He is a tad da crack. That's not good. That's okay. That's okay. Dodge that. Dodge that. And we're just gonna try to not get hit. Okay. There we go. Ah uh, no. That wasn't good. That wasn't good at all. Uh, this one's a lot of fun. It's the phaser gun. It actually shoots uh, over items and such. Um, we're going to take 20% chance to receive double credits uh, from drops, is what we're going to do. That was perk screen, and it shows you robot shop. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. And uh, the perk screen shows you, that's what you get when you level up. You pick from three different perks, and those perks are just constant. Now, what did I get? What should I do? You hit start, and it shows you the different perks and abilities you've picked up. So if we'd have picked up the... There was no perks in the jigger. Okay. So here's the consumable shop, or not the, the, the small item shop. It's got the small items in it. Some things are awesome, though, some things are not. This is a. Uh, this, it, for instance, if I had 20 coins, let me see if I can get 20 coins real quick. 
you can't sell items in the game either. Um, seems like a small thing, but believe it or not, it's a huge pain in the bum. Because I find all kinds of stuff, and I'm like, I would totally sell this thing here. Because it's just, uh, it's that thing. So if you remember, this cost five before, now it costs seven. With the sacrifice room, the more things you collect from there, the more the next item will cost in order to get from the sacrifice room itself. That was all that was in here. Uh, we already got the coinage here. We don't need mysticals. I mean, we tend to do, but that's fine. Okay, so now we've cleared the whole floor. And as you can see, there was a lot of backtracking there. Now we're going to come into the boss. So this boss is called Backfire. He starts off on the side. He's my bad. And basically each boss does a thing. And the thing that it does is what you need to be prepared in order to fight it. Uh, this one shoots those jiggers against the wall and they turn into those things. The line of purple bullets that come at your mech. Generally, when you get down, when you get him down to halfway, oh look at that! Oh, that just melted him. What a nice edit. That was the energy weapon, by the way, the one we picked up. Okay, so the railgun module is amazing. We're gonna pick up the destruction module because it's forty percent extra damage, and that's gonna switch it out. So now I no longer have the items that were the benefits from the railgun module. Now all I have is the destruction module. If I click start, you'll see it has changed to the structure module here. I haven't found a consumable yet though. And you can get 20 coins. So, next floor it is. And after you beat a boss, the next floor is the yellow door. Now, once you go past floor one, you come across um, these things. I call them quests. So for this floor, the quest is to make it to the next floor without taking damage in any way for a bonus. The opportunity will disappear if you leave the room. So, you have to take it as soon as you go to the next floor. This isn't a very good one for me because I always get hit, especially if I've got shields. And as you can see, I've got 5 HP, but I've got 1 shield. Yeah, buddy. So we're going to head up and see what's in here. Spitfire, the Blood Avenger, melted that boss. So we're just going to go ahead and keep it in keep it because that seems pretty awesome and we're gonna fly down and see what we can do now this is where this phaser gun comes in handy because it can shoot through walls which means I'm protected I'm not gonna take damage from what's going on and I can kill everything that's going on uh, I don't think there's a way for me to be able to take that advantage right there uh, another important thing to note is that, oh yeah, I can just go up that way, that's fine. There we go. Oh, and he hit me in the last flipping moment, too. Gee golly. Uh, another thing of note is once you kill all the bad guys in a room, all the bullets disappear. Super important. I'm sure you've noticed as this time has gone on. Um, it's very important to, ooh, this guy. That guy is a ram. He just, he comes at you. Like I said, you gotta remember, each enemy has its own way of killing it. You just gotta decide which way is which way is gonna do the best in order to get the job done. Good. Oh no! Oh no! Way too much damage taken here. Okay, these are the three perks. See, I'm level three now, as opposed to level one. And I can get increased missile damage by two, or I'm sorry, increased maximum missiles by two, 50% uh, damage boost on missiles only, and increased mass energy by 25. Considering the crazy damage my my uh, energy weapon does, I'm going to go ahead and take 25 additional Jaggers here. We're going to blow that up. We're going to take that and that. We're pretty good. Now, these are teleports. And the blue ones that you can see here, the green ones rather, uh, they teleport you in the same room. So this is going to teleport me back and forth here. Now in the item room, there, there's one right there, this teleports you to the room in red on your map. So you'll see I get off of it and then I get on it. And do you see... You really can't see it, can you? 
Okay, if you look up here on the map, look right here on the item room. So I'm going to come off of it. See how it changes there? Because it's going to warp me to the item room. And then in the item room, you see how this room is glowing red? That's where it's going to teleport me. So you can actually get around the map a lot easier with teleporters that the, the developers put in there, which is super awesome because it, it, it takes time to run around. Oops. That was an accident. Trying to utilize my weapon here. If I can just stay on this wall and hug the crack out of crap out of it, I'm gonna be able to not take damage here. But see, the important part about this game is it's not about. I mean, it's about skill. Don't take that the wrong way. Anyway, shape form fashion, it's totally about skill. But you can use all the different weapons. They're all different kinds of weapons. Here's a weapon shop. We're gonna demonstrate that as soon as we can. And here's a small item shop. Now this increases energy by ten. And considering what I'm doing with that awesome item that I bought, we're gonna do that. Now you also notice the shop is empty. There's no one in here. And then this little machine down here, you can spend five credits to purchase 80 experience points. I don't generally use them, but sometimes if you're just like that little part away, it's totally worth doing. So we're gonna go ahead and show you the weapon shop here now. And this holds not weapons, but things to improve yourself offensively. So like this is not a weapon. It is actually something that would come up down here as a power up. So right now I've got the major coinage, small energy tank, and the energy boost. So this would show up and it would increase it reduces fire by 10%, but boosts damage by 20%, which is spectacular. This is another thing that would show up on the power-up line. It increases fire rate by 20%, but it also increases enemy movement and fire rate by 10%, which is just terrible. Don't ever get that done. And then the flamethrower is amazing. And I would pick that up if I had one of the 30 coins. We're going to see if we can get 30 coins in this uh, this one. So let's go this way, ooh, ooh, this guy. I'm not entirely sure why he's here though. See the thing is, is these enemies I'm fighting shouldn't be here. In the slightest. Oops. I really wish I hadn't taken damage there. Okay, so. Got that going on. Gonna come in firing. That's a crate, we're gonna open it. It's got some health in it, that's nice. Dude's just coming at us. I've never actually seen what those yellow ships do, because they they like literally just don't do anything. I've I've never seen them do anything, I should say actually. He's open. Let's grab some stuff. Now you'll also notice all those floating bombs are gone. That's a teleporter that teleported me into the room. Or inside of the room, rather. And that opened this down here. The sacrifice room. Now I've only got five health, and I've already got a sacrifice item. So most likely, I'm not going to be able to purchase these items. However, I am at three of eight. <sighs> Man. So I can go down to one health, I guess. Um, if I can get my hands on, oh, actually, pick that up. If I can get my hands on um, five more health shards, so we're gonna be looking for. Now this guy is interesting. He can only be hit from the back. Okay, now those guys are very specific. You notice his health was going down as he was running around, and he's giving health shards, which is spectacular. That's also spectacular. Look at that, look at that. And, oh, another one too. And another one. Holy moly. It would have been nice they gave me a key though. Eight is just fine. Yeah, the key would have been awesome. Okay. 
And here's the main boss for the place. We're gonna go ahead and just go in here. Sunder's not too bad. I don't wanna lose all that. Now you gotta remember, these bosses are in phases, so if you've got a really good weapon that does just boss melting damage, you're gonna wanna keep that weapon until you get into the phase that you're having difficulties with, or the harder phase, which would be the second phase. So I'm gonna blow them up there, then we're just gonna come in, and I'm gonna use my energy weapon to just destroy it. And we perfected him! Which means we get the stat boost. Increased fire rate by 10% is all it does. So we're going to go ahead and pick that up. We also leveled. Shootable blow of waters. Do I need that? Um, this is level 4 perks. As you can see, they're getting... They're about the same. Like, I can get these perks level 4, but I can't get them a level 1. Level 1 generally is double health pickups. 20% uh, chance to receive double credits, 20% extra credits at the beginning of each floor. Um, that's another one I've seen. 25% uh, chance to get double health charge when you pick them up. And then uh, double healing, double healing items, and like a few other those. Those are all the ones that cycle on, on the first perk. But past that, like all floors revealed is anywhere from like 3 to 5, I believe. Health is fully restored at the start of a new floor. And missiles are fully restored at the start of new floors, also ones that are done in the mid-range of the levels. Um, but shots can now destroy shootable and missile blocks easily is just awesome and spectacular. Because that's like, that's one of my favorite things. Just one of my favorite things. <coughs> Still didn't get a key, we're going to go check the rest of this floor and then that's going to end our tutorial uh, for Starward Rogue. You know, I, I didn't have to use a missile on those, it just went through. Each perk does something. I don't even know why I'm going past the wall for this. Perk of the weapons, man. Perk of the weapons. And now that I can destroy shootable objects, you'll notice that I don't have to fiddle around with destroying those blocks either. Wasting shots. Basically, it just goes straight through them. Like, like a hot knife and butter, buddy. Hot knife and butter. Oh, I saw that too. I saw it. I didn't move. No! Alright. We got some credits coming in. Oh. These ones are not particularly fond of. Uh, these particular kind of rooms. Because they're just like waiting rooms, I guess would be a good way to, to put it. Because all you can do is just wait. Come on. Come on. That was the last one, too. I took all that damage for nothing. Woohoo, health shard. There's coinage over here, just to pick up earlier. And experience. Little glowy green thing is experience. It can also be little glowy blue things, little blow, little glowy yellow things. Yeah. Some help out there. That was nice. Alright, now we're going to the next floor. And what we're going to do, as opposed to taking unnecessary damage, I'm just, ah, took unnecessary damage anyway. How very late. Yeah, and as you can see, even though I can shoot through walls, I cannot shoot through um, energy blocked things. So when that guy was throwing out his energy blocker, I couldn't shoot through that. But I could still shoot through a wall. So any enemy bullet blocking technology that might be out there. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's thing to look out for. This is a health upgrade storage. You can see when you walk up to the door, it tells you what it is and how many of your key cards you'd have to unlock, use to unlock the door. I've never seen one more than one key card. I think this is just to remind you of how many you have. Uh, a health related item lies within, so we're going to go up and see what it is. It's just health by four, expense space of two missiles. So I have eight missiles right now. I'm going to pick it up. My health goes up to nine, my missiles go down to six. So. And that's completely worth doing almost every time. Having an insane amount of health in this game is super important. Um, that's all I can think of in regards to doing uh, Star Wars Rogue. This is your tutorial. Uh, giving you the basics of the game, how to make it work, and what to make it work for you with. So I'll be uploading more videos of actual run-throughs of Star Wars Rogue as soon as I can. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I don't know. 
insert interesting fun tagline here to end the end the video with. Use your imagination. No, 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 no. What just happened? There we go.